Would you like your milk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Further the weaning process off of their babies. If you're unfamiliar with Love Every, they create durable, sustainable toys and play kits. What are those? What can see? <gasps> Good morning. Uh, Hi, babe. Uh, uh, you want mama to take you out? Okay, mama get you out. Good morning. Hi, Jackie. What, baby? Good morning. <laughs> yes, mom is vlogging. Look. Yeah, you can't see yourself that way. You have to do this way. Jackie boy, would you like your milk? <laughs> Benny, would you like your milk? Here you go. Yes, baby. I'm making you some eggs. Here you go, baby. Come on, Jackie, this way. <laughs> Is that cool? Magic. Magic. <laughs> Come on. Are you kicking the basketball out? A ball, yes, Benny. Good job. Wanna take that in the car with you? A ball. Let's go get mommy some coffee. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. Benny, come over here. Would you like some more? The boys and I just got back from Starbucks. It is so grindy. We actually have my ring light set up so that you can somewhat see me. But the boys and I just got back from Starbucks. Today is actually some shopping day, so I've been out of coffee recently. And because of that, the boys and I have been taking a trip to Starbucks the past few mornings. I get a coffee and I get them a little croissant as a little treat for coming with me. By the way, I'm in such a fall mood. The coffee that I get is so fall. It is a venti iced coffee with two pumps of white mocha and the pumpkin cream cold okay. foam. And it is so, so good. But the boys and I just got home from that. And on our little to-do list for today and tomorrow actually is going to be a huge toy clean out, revamp, overhaul, like deep cleaning. The boys have a lot of toys up here that they just aren't playing with anymore as much as they used to. It's just, they're just kind of taking up room here and downstairs in the den that really needs like a full vacuum mop, like a really good overhaul. So for today and tomorrow, that is on my little to-do list. I also got some goodies from Love Every in the mail and I've actually worked with them in the past. So I will link that video up here. That video is a lot more informative than this one's gonna be, but I will still touch on a few things about Love Every, tell you about Love Every, and of course open the goodies that we got. Don't touch mommy's light, please. So I think my plan of approach is to start doing what I have to do when the boys go down for a nap today. I think today I'm gonna focus on the living room here and tomorrow I will focus on the den downstairs. It'll be too much to do all in one day, especially with them both running around. So I'm gonna focus on the living room today and then the den tomorrow. So when the boys go down for a nap today, I need to like clean everything up that they're gonna be playing with right now and then go through it all. And then I think I will take out the love every goodies that we got and I'll share with you guys what they are and then set them up so that when they wake up from their nap, it's like a little Christmas morning. I'll set everything up so that 
that they can come and see what it is because I haven't opened it yet. They don't know what's in it. I got the newest play kit for their age range and then one other toy that will be for the dead downstairs, but I will share it with you guys um, today. So that is what today's video is going to be. I'm gonna be vlogging today and tomorrow. A nice little cleaning, overhaul, organizational type of vlog. But for now, I'm going to finish giving the boys their croissant and enjoy my coffee and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Do you want to throw this out for mommy? Want to put this in the garbage? Come on. Let mama step on it. Okay, can you put it in? Oh, don't put your ping pong ball in the garbage. Can you put that in the garbage, please? No, don't put your ping pong ball. Can you put the wrapper in the garbage, please? Can you put this in the garbage? Thank you. Good job, Jackie. Now we close it up. Good job, baby. Okay, excuse the lighting. I'm using like the boys um, little floor lamp, but I'm going to get them ready for a nap soon. It's a jammy day. I think I'm going to just leave them in their pajamas all day. It is so gray and gloomy. So I feel like that calls for a jammy day. They haven't had one in a while, but I wanted to touch on something that I actually talked about over on my Instagram really briefly the other day. And that is that we have furthered the weaning process off of their binkies if you guys are unfamiliar the boys for the past six months i would say we stopped letting them have their binkies in the living room and having like free range with them i think when they turned one we transitioned to them only having it during sleep however they would get it like the hour before their nap when they were laying in bed with me or like the hour before bedtime when they were laying in our bed with harris and i um so I felt like I didn't have a lot of like control over it I was still letting them have it um for like extended periods of time and especially when we were down in Florida with like the change of environment and everything I had let them have it multiple times a day there as like a comfort thing but now that the boys are 18 months old I wanted to further the weaning process from their binkies Jack's teeth are actually starting to like move in the front and although their dentist said that it was fine for the time being, she really wanted to see them wean by two years old. So I decided to start now. So the past week, we were only letting them really get it before naps and bed. Like not giving it to them for an extended period of time, maybe like 20 or so minutes before naps and bed. But then on Monday, today is Wednesday. They just went in my room, I heard them. Um, today's Wednesday. I started with no naps, so they're only getting it before bed and to sleep with at bed. Um, I'm taking a very slow approach to weaning. I don't want to take it away all at once because my thought process is, what are you doing? What do you got? Uh, uh, you got mama's bathing suit pad. <laughs> um, my thought process is, is if they're naps and bedtime sleep are interrupted, it's not like the next day they can have they were fighting over the toilet paper roll. But my thought process is, is that if naps are interrupted and nighttime sleep is interrupted, it's not like the next day after a poor night's sleep, they can get a restorative nap because their nap is also interrupted because they don't have their pacifier. And I just don't have the mentality to go weeks on end with bad sleep again. We dealt with that for so long with early morning wakings and everything. So I'm starting with weaning it from naps and once their naps go back to normal, I have to give it to bed. He's been doing two hour naps with no binky perfectly fine. Jack has been sleeping about an hour and a half without his binky, which is okay, it's not terrible. Um, there is some crying before they go down. They know that I keep them in the top drawer here so they will cry by the dresser before I put them down for the nap. And I just reassure them that you will see your binky at nighttime. You can't have him right now, but you'll see him at nighttime. So my thought process is, is, you know, if they have a bad nap, at least they're getting restorative sleep at night because they have their binkies. And so once naps are taken care of and they're weaned well and they're doing really well, then I'll take it away at night so that if they have a bad night's sleep the next day, they already know how to nap without it so that they can get restorative sleep for their nap. So that's my thought process. I just wanted to update you guys on that. Let me know down below what you did to wean your babies off of binkies. Did you cut it out cold turkey? Did you do a slow wean like I'm doing? But I wanted to update on that. So because their naps are a little iffy, I need to make my lunch and eat right away when I put them down. And then we'll jump into cleaning up the living room, going through their toys, and then I'll sit with you and show you guys what they got from Love Every. Benny, you look so sleepy. Come on, let's go take a nappy. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, Benny. Come on, boys. Nappy time. Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> no in the bathroom, please. Come on. Let's go take a nappy. Ready for a nappy nap? <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> Let me get your bed set up, baby. Okay, so the boys are down for their nap. <clears throat> they actually went down pretty easy today. I was surprised there was minimal crying and they both fell asleep very easily. So I am in the middle of eating my lunch. I'm almost done. And when I'm done, I'm going to jump right into cleaning up this living room. It is a mess behind me. So my game plan is to clean everything up. And as I clean, create piles of what I want to keep. I really want to put some stuff in storage. Like some of the boys' toys are in like great condition and I don't feel like getting rid of them. I want to save them for future children. So I'm going to make a pile of ones I want to keep. I need to go to Target this week and get a storage bin to put those in. And then make a pile of what I want to donate. Harris's mom said she's going to find somewhere for us to donate those to. Um, she knows a few. And then um, like put away, put into place the toys that I'm leaving down here. And then when I'm done with that, I'll show you guys what I have. And then I'll share with you guys what I got from Love Every. So this is a lot of what I'm keeping. This is something that I took out of a box that my parents got us when we were down in Florida. Took that out so the boys can play with that. And then I cleaned out this bin. A lot of what's in here the boys do still play with. Stuffed animals. Harris is really big on stuffed animals so I kept most of them. There are a few here that the boys have never really touched and play with. And then this, I think this is just too advanced for their age by the time we got it so they don't really show too much interest in this. So this is what I'm going to donate. There is a lot more downstairs that is from like when the boys were super young that we're also going to donate, but I'll go through that tomorrow when I go through the den. And then all this stuff, it's stuff that is in great condition. The boys just don't really play with it, especially this stuff over here. They're not big on like electronic toys like this. So I'm going to save all this stuff for our next baby. And then these toys, the boys used to obsessively play with this when they were super little. They're just over that. And again, with these, they don't really play with them how they're supposed to be used. They kind of just take the pieces out and throw it around. So it just creates a mess instead of them actually playing with it. So this is everything I want to bin up and save. This is everything that I'm going to throw out. Stuff that is just torn up in bad condition. They used to chew on this book. It's absolutely disgusting. So that is getting thrown out. And then I did switch out whatever books we had in here. Those are all over here. I need to put these upstairs back in their library. And then I switched them out for some new books for the boys. So I'm going to quickly set all this aside, get a bag for this, and toss this and then I'll set up the Love Every stuff to share with you. Okay, so before I share with you guys what I got from Love Every, I wanted to give you guys some information on the company. If you did miss the first video I put up where I work with them, again, I will link that up here and down below for you guys to check out if you did miss it. But if you're unfamiliar with Love Every, they create durable, sustainable toys and play kits for children. Their age-specific play kits are basically from birth all the way up until three years of age and they run in three month increments. Last time I shared the one for 15 to 18 months and today I'll be sharing the play kit for 19 to 21 months and it's called the Realist Play Kit. They each have different names and inside those play kits they have age specific toys and activities to kind of challenge your children developmentally, teach different things academically like different words, colors, shapes, matching, different things with like fine motor skills, amazing activities just to challenge your children developmentally. Aside from their play kits, they do have other standalone products on their website. In the last video I shared, I showed you guys the play mat that we transformed into a tent. And then back here, I have the boys block set. The block set is one thing I highly, highly recommend. It comes with 70 blocks and you can do a million different things with that block set. You can do color matching, stacking, building, imaginative play. It comes with a puzzle. You can turn it into a car. It comes with a pamphlet that shows you guys. I think I actually have it in here yeah it comes with this pamphlet here that shows you all the different ways that you can play with that block set so it is great to keep and use 
throughout many different years. I'm very excited to keep that and use that with the boys. I will not be putting that away anytime soon. But aside from that, they have different standalone items on their website. Aside from the play kit that I picked up, I did pick up one other standalone item that they have. And what's amazing is that they recently collaborated with Target. And I think you can go on their website and find what Targets participate with Love Every. And you can go to that Target and purchase in-store different Love Every products. I believe you can get the play mat, but then they also have, I think like add-on toys, they call it. Different activities that you can add on to the play kits that you have. I think there's a stacking one in this block set. There's like little people. I think there's one where you can like match the little people with a cup. I will leave all the information down below if you guys want to find a target near you to see if it participates with Love Every. But aside from that, I will link everything that I talk about here in this video. But I'm actually going to lean you guys down and open it with you where you guys can see what I'm doing as I open it. And we will open the play kit. I'm actually really excited. I'm like a little kid when it comes to these things. I think these things are so fun. So I'm going to open it and show you guys as I open it the different activities that come in the realist play kit and then tomorrow i will open up this tunnel i got like a play tunnel for the boys if you know what i'm talking about i'll open it today and show you it but i will be putting that downstairs in the den tomorrow once i go through that so let me open up the box and we can go through the realist play kit together okay so like i mentioned this is their realist play kit as you can see it says it's down here and it's for ages 19 to 21 months the boys will be 19 months next month so this is great to start introducing to them now to see if they're able to grasp it. Some of the stuff from the previous play kit, you can see I have it up here. Like this toy here, Jack is pretty much mastered, but the puzzle, they've not really done great at matching yet. So I do want to keep these out here to continue to challenge them with those, but I want to incorporate this stuff. So I know it comes right here with a little pamphlet that helps to explain what is in your play kit and like how to play with it with your children. If you see here, you can open this up. And then it shows you what comes in your play kit and then how to like play with your child, how to play with different things. Um, real life play has different like sensor activities you can create at home with mainly things that you already have in your own house. So that is why this little booklet is great. I have all my other ones in the drawer that's right here. I have the one that came with the... Um, uh, play mat the play mat came with one when the boys were born so I have that still and then I have the one from the last play kit and then this one here and they have these little rings you can actually link them all together which I think is amazing and I'm going to keep it open to this page so I can tell you guys what the name of everything is so this is the quilted critter pockets I believe yes you can hang this up on the wall I think I'm gonna hang it over like there on that blank space we have up there and this is a matching activity where your child can learn to match the different animals to its pocket this is really fun then it comes with a, another puzzle i love puzzles just in general not even only the ones that love every creates they do create great puzzles because they are super durable let me see if i can get this out this is the geo shapes puzzle and it comes with Two, like larger triangles where you have to put the smaller one in the middle and kind of stack on top of it I know the boys will get a kick out of this they love like blocks in general to play with so this is the geo shapes puzzle let's see what else we have each play kit also comes with a book I have the other book back here that came with the last play kit this was Max and Nana go to the park and they each have like their own little lesson within the book um, this one comes with Bia gets a checkup and it usually just has like a little lesson within itself within the book. So I will add that right now to the boys little bookshelf over here. It then comes with a really real flashlight. That's what this is. And what's great is it comes with the batteries in it. So I will assemble this later on, but it is a flashlight. And next it comes with a lock box. This is great for fine motor skills. It's kind of like a busy board, but in a block form where the child needs to learn how to open up the hinge. Use like this little lock. There is like a flap lock and then one of these ones. And I believe um, you can actually stick things in here so your child is kind of motivated to open it up and grab whatever is in there. The boys are obsessed with little pom-pom balls right now and I have so many of those. I think I'm going to place some of those in here so the boys are motivated to try and figure out how to open it and get the pom-poms out. Then it comes with a grooved pitcher and glass. This is great to teach your children how to um, like pour things into a cup, really good with fine motor skills and like steadying their hand to pour it into the cup. I wish I had two of these, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to um, have the boys play with this together. I'm sure that they're gonna fight over this, 
Um, but I'm sure I can find something else like this. You can get like a really cheap measuring cup or something at um, like Target, Walmart, Amazon, so the boys can both do it at the same time. But this is great for fine motor skills. And then the last thing this box comes with is a count and slide ring shoot. I have a feeling Benny is going to love this because we have a little racetrack that came with the last play kit and has a car that you drop down and you watch it go. So this is like the same sentiment where you drop something in here and you watch it come down to the bottom. It comes with the little pieces in a separate box here. I have a feeling that Benny is going to love this. He loves those kind of activities and toys. Here are the little pieces for this and then your child just like drops it down and watches it come out Let's see. come out the bottom. So that is what comes in the Realist Play Kit. I am going to go ahead and incorporate all this into our little playroom here and then I'll show you guys the other thing that I picked up from Love Every. Okay, I decided to leave all the activities and toys out like this so that when the boys wake up from their nap, they can see it and get like all excited. But this is the other thing that I picked up. You can see here, I'm not going to open it yet. It's just one of those tunnels that your child like crawls through and plays in and like stands up and like... You can do different things with this, play with it in a bunch of different ways, but I picked this up specifically to have it like popped out and put it downstairs in the den area. So tomorrow when we go through the den and clean it out, I will set this up, but I'm going to wait for the boys to wake up from their nap now, and then we'll see how they react to all their new toys. What are those? Oh, are you okay? Have them juicy. Look, new toys, Benny. <laughs> Come on. Wow. What did mama get you? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cup. Cup. <laughs> wow. Cool. Oh, mama needs to take this paper. <laughs> Come on, we have that paper. Go. Go. Let me see the paper. Look, you do this. Look. Put it in. And look, a ducky. Look, and they match. And a bird. Giraffe. Yeah. That's a block, yeah. <laughs> Go. Wow. Isn't it cool? What's in there, Benny? What else is in there? I said duck. Say quack quack. Yeah. That's a bird. <laughs> you like it, babies? Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday. It is about like 9, 20-ish in the morning. Poor Benny is having a bit of a rough morning. He wants his B-I-N-K-Y really badly. Hi, Jackie. You want to sit, Mama? But it is the next day, and on today's to-do list is to finish up the den. I actually wound up doing some of it last night after the boys went to sleep. 
I quickly like went through the toys. I wound up throwing out one of the um, foam mats that we had down there because they never stayed together. The boys always tore it apart and Ben actually ate most of it. He would chew on it and teeth on it. So it was just torn up. So I wound up throwing that out. I went through the rest of the toys and put aside a lot of them to donate. Just things that the boys didn't really play with. They kind of just threw around. And then I went ahead and vacuumed and mopped. I did film all of that, so I'll go ahead and insert those little time lapses right here for you guys to see. But now that that's done today, what we have to do is organize the toys that I left down there for them and put together both the Love Every Play Tunnel and then I think I told you guys, um, Harris's friend Miles got a new like toy slash activity for the boys. It's like a ball pit with a bunch of those like tunnels connected to it. I don't know. He ordered it off Amazon and sent it right to the house and it's been sitting in the spare bedroom down there for about a week. And so I want to put that together today and then surprise the boys with it. I was going to do everything when they go down for a nap, but they're a little antsy today. I don't know why. Um, so I think I'm going to get them dressed now and get myself dressed. I I'll have my pajama shorts on and just need to like change my bottoms um get all of us ready and then head down there and do it since I did like the hard stuff of vacuuming and mopping I can do the rest of it with them awake it won't be too difficult they'll probably be preoccupied in touching everything but um I just want to get it set up so that they have something new to play with and do today so that is what I have on my little to-do list now boys come here where'd you go I'm going to quickly pick out something for them to wear, get them dressed, and then quickly throw myself together and we'll head down to the den. Okay, so this is the Love Every Tunnel and then this is the set that our friend sent us. And this is everything that is staying down here. So I'm going to organize this and like put this somewhere and then assemble this in like this area. And then all this over here, not this, this is staying, but this stuff, this stuff here, this stuff here and this stuff here, it's all going to be donated. So I'm excited to see the boys' reaction to this. I don't see instructions, so I'm not too sure how to set this up, but hopefully it is easy. So I popped everything open and I set up the ball pit portion with one tunnel for them to get in and out. And then it comes with this like TP one, I think where they can like throw the balls through. I'm not sure if they would like play with it correctly now. So I'm just gonna leave it up so they can curl in and out. Then there's like this box one that I might attach to the end over there. And then another tunnel piece, maybe I'll attach to the back of this one. But then I moved their little hoop over here. I'm gonna put all the balls near it and then just like configure these toys on 
this mat here, but so far they seem to love this. I will have my friend send me the link of the exact one. I know we had to buy the balls separately, um, but I will link this down. I think it was like 60 bucks, he said, which I think is a fair price for one, two, three, four, five pieces. I don't think that's bad at all. So I'm gonna finish shutting everything up and I'll give you guys the final glance at what the den looks like and we can go ahead and close out this vlog. Hi, what you doing? I see you, Jackie. You like it, Benny? A ball? You gotta crawl out. So I set up their little hoop and balls over here. Just configured their toys on this mat here. And then I'm gonna have to play around with the configuration of this, but I think the boys will probably move around on their own. We have so much space here, which is great, so it can fit everything. But they're having so much fun. Jackie, keep the balls in the ball pit, please. <laughs> What? What? You having fun? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me deep clean, declutter, and organize and set up some new toys for the boys now that they are 18 months old. Their interests have changed, and I definitely needed some more bigger activities for them like this. I will link this down below as well as everything I shared from Love Every, Love Every's website, and then where you can find a Target that participates with them. All that will be down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. Say bye guys! <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>